kick it off. Please check out the match arena once again. I know I've been talking about it the whole time, but that's because we really need your support for these guys. Thanks, everyone. So far, $363 and change have been reached. There's still lots of free sponsor quests that you guys can do. There's the G Fuel. There's Devour Frozen Foods. There's the Twitter quest. There's a YouTube quest, Click Quest. And uh, all these, if you click here, see there's actually more of them uh, in the listings that you can follow along with as well. Anyway, we're about to start with this loser's final in just a moment. It's going to be Brian F. versus Burkish. I think it'll be a good one. This will be another three out of five set. Loser's final. Right. Good luck to both monsters. Let's do this. Thanks again to all the donators of the match arena tonight. Whether you use those free coupon codes, you use the sponsor quest, or you donate it directly, we appreciate all of your support. And once again, one half of the donations will go to Henry Sen and next hour tonight, and the other half will be going to the top three or top five players tonight. Thank you, guys. Also, make sure to subscribe here to Team Spooky if you guys have been enjoying the stream. We do appreciate all our subs. I'll put some info for you guys on the chat to make it easy for you to subscribe. Also, if you're a subscriber, please join our Discord server because it allows you to use all your Team Spooky icons all over Discord and have lots of fun with them. Anyway, we got two high rankers going at it. We have Burkish versus Brian F. That was a great V skill. Nope, that was a bad jump. Man, Burkish's anti airs are really amazing. You can tell too because he's not anti airing with the early part of the crouch HP. He's getting like the late part of the crouch HP, which means that he's doing the crouch HP so early that he's just that far ahead. That was nice. Great punish. Nice break. This might not be enough. Activation. He's got some presidential power. What can he do with it? Nothing. Not this round. Round two. Fight. Fight. That, mm, he didn't get a full punish. He tried to do jab, jab, headbutt, uh, but he did not link the jabs correctly. Okay, safe jump. Mm, perhaps mistimed a little bit. One, two. Prepare yourself. Now he's trying to get Burkish to commit to something, but Burkish is quite patient, as you can see. Nice little MK. Man, he cannot open him up. Instead, he's getting opened up, and that's it. Very nice. Yurian wins. All right, so Burkis takes game number one. This is a three out of five set. Brian F also has, uh, he has the opportunity to change characters perhaps if he really wants to, so he could go to his Balrog. Seems like he's thinking about that now. You know, Revilo, I don't really know. It seems to me that the Balrog versus uh, the Balrog versus Urine matchup, uh, the trouble is not the fireballs. As you said, the trouble is uh, like crouch jab, crouch medium kick. Uh, both pretty good buttons against uh, Balrog's ranges that he likes. The crouch jab is really good at point blank range against him. And uh, the crouch medium kick is pretty good at the longer range that some Balrogs like to play from. So he's got two pretty good button answers uh, to the footies that boxers like to play. Uh, grand Finals is IDOM, uh, Richard L. FGC. IDOM the God, the Capcom Cup champ, the Beast. Sitting comfortably in winner's finals. Or excuse me, sitting comfortably in winner's side is what I should say. And the winner of this match will face IDOM. It could either be a rematch. Uh, actually, either one would be a rematch. I think I believe that IDOM is the one that sent both these players to the loser's bracket, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, Defend the North 2020 is scheduled for July of this year. Uh, you know, knock on wood, cross your fingers, all those things that we need for that to happen and for it to not still be under, like, quarantine or something ridiculous by then. Be gone. Damn, and got the reset. Oh, that hurts. Damn, he even had time to charge up the fireball and got the stun. Show me your best combo. The scaling's kicking in. Damn, it still killed. Optimal stuff. 
Damn, this character really is top tier. What do you think, guys? Where would you tier Yuri in after seeing today's tournament? To the top? Damn. Footsie's game right now between both guys. Zeku top two, I wish. I actually love Zeku. I would love to watch a tournament that had nothing but Zeku players in it. And all they do is do flashy ass stance switch combos over and over. Strider. He's Strider and he's God. Pretty awesome character. I actually love that character, Zeku. I played him for a little while when he first came out. Ages. Wow, good response. Brian up. Just trying to stay ahead in this round. He has to watch. Nope, he doesn't have to watch for Aegis number two if he has the corner. Very good. Final round. Damn crazy Jay, your state's on lockdown. We're already kind of on lockdown in New York. You can't even you can't even do anything except go to like the supermarket. There's nothing else for you. Movie theater, that's done. Next level, that's done. Restaurants, takeout only. It's a little lonely, I'm not gonna lie to you. Be gone. Yeah, I hear you are. I don't think that there's like an unbeatable character or anything like that. He definitely has been showing some of his strengths during these sets. The Aegis combos, the crazy resets he can do, uh, the pokes, like the stand heavy, the crouch medium kick, the crouch heavy anti-airs. He's very well-rounded. He even has a reversal. It ain't the best reversal ever, like, you know, but it's a reversal. It works sometimes. Balrog wins. All right, Brian F makes it 1-1. One, one. Very important uh, tie up there. Honestly, if he had been Round down 2-0, this might have been pretty tough for him. Fight. A perfect play. You know, uh, unfortunately, we're already dealing with that. There was a big report about Amazon today, and it says that a lot of people in the Amazon warehouses already have Corona. So, yeah, be careful, guys. Even when you're getting stuff delivered, watch out for yourselves. Wash your hands. Wash your doorknobs. Wash your everything. Wash your culo. Uh, yes, this is three out of five, Melodic Master. Aegis. He tried to throw, but he did a little early. Oh yeah, Metro M. Metro M was playing really strong today. Honestly, that's the best that I've seen from a Vega player in quite a long time. Nope, I have it too. Damn, and a nice. Oh wow, it was too far. Damn. That's rarity. Crazy. Brian F unfaced. He's still, he still got a lot of each, uh, big lead here. Damn. Burkish fought his way out of the corner so well. And now actually Brian's in trouble. Next to the stun. V reversal. We didn't want to take any more. Nice. You can't jump at me like that, my friend. You better use that meter. Pretend it's a dive kick. Oh, too far, too far. That was cute. Yurian wins. All right, two one in favor of Burkish. Brian F was kind of still in that round. Unfortunately, he bet it all on the turnaround punch. Let's see what happens in this next game. This will be uh, game five coming round up. One. Game four, excuse me. Wow, damn, how does he get those counter hit confirms like that every time? That's 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 impressive. Crush. Reset. Oh 
Okay, nice block. He was ready for the reset there. Nice block on the low also. Mmm, that was one that was in range. Very good. And trigger has expired for Brian. Again, Burkish fought his way out of the corner. No. This is going to be tough to get out of. Overhead, good block. Damn, he blocked it all. Third strike. Mm, not the second one. Yep, Urien's mad solid. I feel like uh, also Brian F is kind of falling for some of Burkish's patterns a little bit. Like when Burkish escapes the corner, he always goes for throw after the knockdown, right? And so far, see like that there, and Brian has been kind of taking it every time. That first knockdown, he's almost guaranteed to throw. Another one. Okay, throw bait. Brian didn't fall for it. Throw again. No, ho, 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 ho. GG's, my friend. Well played. His corner escapes were really what, what won him that set, I feel like. Every time that Brian Neff had him in a corner in a dangerous or precarious situation, he knew the right time to mash a combo to get away. He had the right combo on deck to get away, and then his post-knockdown mix-up was also excellent. Anyway, uh, big props to Brian Neff tonight. Thank you very much, Brian, for entering. I hope that you had a good time. And, uh, yeah, dude, thanks for entering.